Hi, I'm Joe. Installing a hitch on your Mazda CX-5 can take you to some really fun places like camping and biking. You can even tow a U-Haul trailer on almost anywhere in North America. So let's go ahead and break down this install. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. To start, you're going to want to remove the underbody panel from under the car. You'll do it by removing the two fasteners with a flathead screwdriver. Now our vehicle does not have an underbody panel, so we're going to skip this step. For our start, we're going to be lowering the exhaust by using a pair of exhaust pliers and some soapy water. Before lowering the exhaust, we're going to secure it with a strap. To lower this exhaust, there's going to be four exhaust hangers. Two are on the driver's side, and two are on the passenger side. On the driver's side frame rail of this vehicle, there are two plastic clips holding the vehicle wiring harness. We're going to have to remove those using a flathead screwdriver. And then there's two more on the passenger side that we'll go ahead and remove. Before putting the hitch into place, we're going to have to reveal four holes on the outside of the frame rails on both the passenger and the driver's side. These are covered by tape. Go ahead and remove the tape. Now we're going to install carriage bolts on the rearmost mounting holes. Some vehicles come with an extra weld nut. In that case, you would only have to use one carriage bolt, but in our case, we're going to have to use both of them. We're going to be using our fish wire technique to install these carriage bolts. You'll be routing the pointed end of the fish wire through the access hole and out the mounting hole. This installation requires putting washers between the hitch and the frame wheel. We went ahead and pre-taped them onto the hitch to make the installation a little easier. Now that the tape and plugs have been removed, we can go ahead and put the hitch into place. We'll be using our U-Haul exclusive hitch jack, but if you don't have one, you can go ahead and get an extra set of hands to help you as this hitch is heavy. We're going to feed the fish wire through the corresponding hole on the hitch to pull our bolt through. Next, we're going to remove our fish wire. It helps to use a flathead screwdriver to hold the bolt in place while we remove the fish wire. And then we'll go ahead and hand tighten our flange nuts onto the carriage bolt. Then we'll go ahead and repeat the same process on the passenger side. Then next, we'll go ahead and install our two remaining bolts with conical tooth washers. Keep in mind that the teeth on the washers should be facing the hitch. Next, we're going to go ahead and torque down all our bolts. The bolts facing the front of the vehicle are a 19 millimeter, and the bolts facing the rear of the vehicle are going to be a three quarter inch socket. You can find the torque specs in the description below. Now with our hitch installed, we're going to go ahead and replace our wiring clips and our exhaust hangers. With our hitch installed, we pulled the vehicle onto level ground to show you some important measurements for your hitch accessories. This is a two inch hitch receiver. From the pinhole to the end of the bumper is four inches. And then from the ground to the top of the receiver is 13 inches exactly. This will help you determine the length, rise, and drop for your hitch accessories, such as a bike rack and a cargo carrier. If you have any questions about the products seen in this video, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul hitch professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.